Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Topps Chrome Baseball 2 box random team break number 2. One spot gets you two teams each. The deuces are wild, as, uh, as Vin Scully would say. Huge potential here, yeah. Tatis Jr. Anyone know what happened with his shoulder? I don't know if I haven't seen any reports today. Alonzo, Vlad, Eloy, Jimenez, Kyle Tucker, and a lot more. A lot of great stuff in this 2019 set. Big thanks to this group here for getting into the action. Let's double you up like Sir Mix a lot. And all 30 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams. Lucky seven times. Six and a one. One. Two. Six and a one. Seventh and final time. After seven, we got Derek down to Hiro. Six and a one, seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a one. Seventh and final time, we got the Cubbies down to the A's. All right, let's paste those here. So Cubs down to the A's, so here's how it shakes out. All right, Derek with the Cubs, Rashid with the Rangers, David with the Padres, Greg with the Mets, Steven with the White Sox, Brandon with the Brew Crew, Jason with the Indians, Wes with the Cardinals, David with the Red Sox, DJ with the Rockies, Hiro with the Diamondbacks, Wesley with the Blue Jays, Steven with the Marlins, Patrick with the Royals, David with the Nats, Steven with the Pirates, DJ with the Braves, Patrick with the Tigers, David, you got my Dodgers, Wesley with the Phillies, Rashid with the Twins, Steven with the Reds, Brandon with the M's, Jason with the Angels, they're playing right now. Angels, Astros tied at two. Bottom of the sixth. Mike Trout up to bat. Derek with the Rays. Greg with the Yankees. Wes with the Orioles. David with the, sorry, Wesley with the Astros. David with the Orioles. And Hiro with the Oakland A's. Let's get all this on one page. Let's sort by column B by team. And we're going to pause the video. We're going to allow for a little bit of a trade window. And when we come back, we'll see if there's any trades. And then we'll have the break. Stick around. BRB. All right. Welcome back, folks. There were no deals done on the Tuesday. It's all good. There it is. Tuesday the 6th, two-box Ram Team 2, 2019 Topps Chrome Baseball. David gets that last spot mojo star. A couple of those. One spot gets you two teams. Another two-box break is up if you want to chase some more hits here. Remember, we mark those with uh, some X's so we know that they're all from the same case. It's the off-season, Brandon. I, I, I personally wouldn't sell any football stuff until, until the uh, actual season starts to roll around. Good luck, everybody. Let's see what's going on in baseball. We got we got Astros Angels on in the background. We, Astros and Angels are tied at two. Bottom of the seven. Granky still on the mound, and Justin Upton up to bat. Another game in the bottom uh, in the top of the seven. Braves are up five four on the Nats. I have some financial interest in the Nationals winning this game, so hopefully they'll. It's only a run. Hopefully they'll pull it off. I think we had one cup, one final today, one final. Tigers winning in extra innings. They win 4-3 um, over the Twins. I think Casey Mize made a start today. The big, uh, big prospect for the Tigers. I think he had a decent outing. I think he, he went four innings, scattered five hits, one earned run, couple walks, and four strikeouts. I think the pitch count snuck up on him. I want to say, yeah, he got he was at 82 pitches already in the fourth inning. So maybe if you keep that pitch count down a tad, could be some more success for the for hopefully a future star.
Oh yeah, how did I was, I saw that Logan Allen start the other day. I was like, hey, Brandon Richards has taken a heavy position on Logan Allen. Let's see, that was that was a Monday start, right? Yeah, uh, Logan Allen. He t he took the loss, but it wasn't really his fault. Yeah, he only he, two earned runs, a couple walks, a few strikeouts, but went five innings. Yeah, it's still early in the season. Uh, definitely something to build on. Here's the first box. Here's Kyle Wright. Seeger's having a great year. There's Eloy Jimenez. A torn pectoral, pectoral tendon is what's keeping him out. But this is just this is definitely a good keeper receiving for the future. Our first autograph is Nicholas Cufo. Rookie auto for the Rays. That'll be for Derek in Tampa Bay. We may as well top load that too. Jay Stewart, Chance Adams, Justice Sheffield, Michael Kopech, it's a refractor. And Michael Kopech again, and a Matt Boyd for the Tigers, 75 out of 75, blue wave for Patrick. Bets Hyper, still Red Sox edition there. And we got a Nick Markakis, 39 out of 50. Braves, DJ Mendenhall. I thought Nick Markakis would, uh, he retired in the offseason. I thought he'd play a little bit more. He had a chance. He was at 2,237 hits. It might have taken a while, but. I don't know. I thought he would just keep grinding it out until see how see if he can put together a couple of great seasons. Maybe get closer closer to three thousand. I don't know. Maybe he would have fallen short anyway, but would have been fun to see. Another Eloy Jimenez hyper. Another one for Steven and the White Sox. And we got a Adolis Garcia. You bought the Tigers? Hmm. Yeah, you did. Was I? Uh, 
Oh, I know what it is. I think. Okay. It's actually supposed to be Rockies. Sorry, if you're watching the replay of this, you can just fast forward through this part. So the Adolf Garcia rookie auto is for Wes. And there's a rookie refractor here, DJ Stewart, Orioles. Brandon was saying, man, can you imagine the Orioles team, the Marlins team, if they ever disbanded? And the what, like put together, took the best parts of the Orioles and the best parts of the Marlins and put them all together? That could be pretty interesting. Right, second box. Yeah, they the Marlins had a had had a, a long spell of of bad ownership, you know. So hopefully a little more a little more consistency this time around. Oh, oh, you're saying if they never, sorry, I misread that, if they never disbanded. Or, well, especially the Marlins, right? I mean, they, they, they got a couple World Series under their belts, but, but that was always followed by these massive teardowns. So they never really, you know, Wayne Huizenga thought, oh, if I got a World Series, I'll have these fans. But tearing down those teams after those World Series or soon afterwards just really never really got a foothold in that market and that might have might have ruined that market for a long time so yeah that was kind of a Never, never endeared himself to that market, which, which should be a better baseball market than it currently is. But hopefully, I don't know. Last year, I think was they got Marlins got to the playoffs. You know, they looked like they were ahead of schedule. There's some exciting players on that team. So hopefully, Jeter. And the uh, and the rest of that front office and ownership can can really get some consistency there. But yeah, the Orioles. I, I don't know if it's as criminal with the Orioles just because. It's not like that Orioles team went to, you know, it's not like they went to like a World Series or won a World Series or anything like that. But yeah, I mean, they, they've moved some players too. Look at the Padres history. Padres have moved a lot of a lot of players over the years too. There's Aramis Garcia, rookie auto for my rivals, the Giants, David with that one. Not the Orioles' act actions were as egregious, but but yeah, they've let some players go too over the years, and that they could have held on to and had a team. Yeah, Mac, we were talking about that a little bit earlier today. Tops, I don't know if everyone's heard this. Tops is going public. Yeah, probably. I think you can. I think you could buy now through their. Uh, uh, through, I think the ticker is MUDS. Nice David Fletcher rookie autograph. Very solid hitter here. So yeah, I mean, we'll see how that we'll see how that works out.
There's the Angels. That'll be for Jason Fractor. I got David Fletcher on my fantasy team. I think it's going to be pretty interesting when uh, when Tops goes public. I think they're going to focus more on a uh, nice Pete Alonzo rookie, on NFTs, those non-fungible tokens, which has gained a lot of popularity uh, with uh, Top Shot and basketball. So to my knowledge, Greg with the Mets, to my knowledge, I don't know if there are actual, uh, if the actual licensing for NFTs have extended to football and baseball. So they'll certainly get baseball, but this could be a sneaky way for them to, to back into, to get back into football. There's out of 299, Rafael Devers. Which will be for the Red Sox. That'll go to David. And Steven Gonsalves for the Twins. That'll be for Rashid. There's a rookie autograph there for you. But yeah, it'll be really interesting to see what uh, you know, what the valuation will be once the once they kick everything off, and what they do with all that money, and how how they progress in the uh, in the hobby. So it should be pretty interesting. There you go, folks. Well, good luck to Tops uh, becoming a public company, and uh, hopefully, the benefits will trickle down to us here as a hobby shop and as group breakers online as well. So thanks everyone for getting into this two box break. There's another two box in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com, check it out. And I'll see you next time for the next one, bye bye.